Profitability Ratios Problem 5. Apple Inc. provides the following information for 20x9. Net income $310,000. Market price per share of common stock $60 per share. Dividends paid $185,000. Common stock outstanding at January 1st, 20x9, 155,000 shares. Common stock outstanding at December 31st, 20x9, 200,000 shares. The company has no preferred stock outstanding. Calculate the earnings per share for 20x9. Students and practitioners love calculating EPS. It's, it's a favorite ratio. It's one of my favorites as well. And it goes to the profitability analysis, which evaluates the ability of a company to generate future earnings. This ability depends on the relationship between the company's operating results and the assets the company has available for use in its operations. Thus, the relationship between the income statement and balance sheet is considered in making and evaluating the profitability. Now, there's many different ratios when it comes to profitability analysis. Ratio of net sales to assets, rate earned on total assets, rate earned on stock or equity, rate earned on common stock or equity, which is the difference between those two deals of preferred stock. Then we've got our earn earnings per share calculation, our price to earnings ratio, dividend per share of common stock, and dividend yield, which all these ratios are extremely important. Earnings per share, though, is the one that many people, they know even before thinking about ratio calculations. It's the one that they tend to go to above others, which shouldn't be undervalued. Let's go ahead and jump into this and calculate this. The formula for earnings per share is going to be net income minus preferred stock, or preferred dividends, I should say. My apologies. Preferred dividends preferred dividends. Now it's important to note that you can be doing an earnings per share calculation for preferred stock, but if you're not told otherwise, you're doing it for common stock. So net income minus the preferred dividends. And then we divide that by the number of common stock outstanding. And I'm also going to put a little note that it should be weighted. It should be weighted if you have to do a calculation of beginning first ending. So it's a weighted number of shares of common stock outstanding. Keep that in mind. It's a weighted number. So here we're given net income to start there. Boom. $310,000. We're going to subtract away the preferred dividends. We're told that there's no preferred stock outstanding. Remember, have to have common stock if you're a corporation, not required to have preferred stock. If you've got preferred stock, you have to have a common stock though. So keep that in mind. There's no preferred dividends. Okay. So that is our numerator. $310,000. The denominator is the number of common stock outstanding, but it's weighted. We're given two amounts, 155,000 shares and 200,000 shares. So we have to average those two numbers together. Now, keep in mind that you are using outstanding shares. Here, both of the numbers are outstanding, beginning of the year and ending of the year. Beginning of the year, ending of the year, so that's fine. But if you were given the issued or authorized, we ignore that. We're going to use the outstanding shares. So we've got $310,000 as the numerator, the denominator, we do that calculation, we're going to have 177,500 shares. That is our average there, 177,500. When we do that calculation, our earnings per share is going to be $1.75 per share. And whether that's good, whether that's bad, it depends on the business. If most of the time when you're looking at this, you are either an already existing investor looking at how much you're generating in case you want to sell and go to another company, or you're someone that hasn't invested yet, you're a potential investor looking at different options. So that's $1.75 per share in terms of earnings per share. And that is our calculation. That's all earnings per share. That's all you're doing. Straightforward. I mean, yeah, there's some a little bit of the weighting there you got to worry about, right? Do the weighted. Make sure you pay attention to the outstanding share. Pay attention to the information. But other than that, it's pretty straightforward.